It's The Refined Reseller. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel where you'll see things that I have bought at garage and estate sales and I have sold on eBay or I will list to sell on eBay. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. So my eBay sales have been heating up. We're in the fourth quarter. I sold a number of things over the last few days. I'm gonna show them to you in just a second. But hey, you know we're getting closer to Christmas and again, your sales should be heating up. If they're not, there may be some things you might wanna do about that. Maybe lower some prices, maybe have a sale, maybe do a promoted listings, maybe take a look at your listings and maybe tweak them a little bit, but your sales should be really popping. About right now, we're getting closer to Christmas. Let me show you what I sold. Okay, the first item up is this Cricut Expression Personal Electronic Cutter. Of course, it cuts vinyl for doing, you know, personalized things like cups or shirts. You can do clothing and things like that. I got this at a garage sale. I bought this one and another one and some cartridges as well. Again, another bulk buy for me. And I sold this one for $65.99. I had it listed for $79.99, but I took a best offer. Next, I sold this calligraphy collection. This is a cartridge that goes in that machine. Again, I bought these along with the machines and I sold this one for $34.99. I sold another one right here for the uh, price of $20. I had it listed for $24.99. Uh, this is an extreme font cartridges cartridge, obviously not as popular as the other one because I didn't sell it for as much as I sold the previous one. And finally, one more. I did get a full price of $34.99, a Cricut chalkboard font cartridge. Uh, these things are very popular. I mean, people use uh, Cricut expression machines to, again, personalize mugs or whatever they want to personalize. And a lot of people sell them on Facebook. Some sell them on eBay. And I know a lady who does it part-time and she makes about $40,000 a year. So I sold one machine and uh, three cartridges so far. I still have another machine and about five other cartridges. Next is this Genuine Aero Swiss Demineralization Cartridge. This is the third one of these that I sold. I bought these at an estate sale and I bought five of them. I paid up for them. I paid $75 for all five. That was $15 a piece. But as you can see, I had this one listed for $39.99 and I sold it for $35.75. Took a best offer. Again, this is the third one and I have two other ones left. So look for stuff like this. Kind of unusual. Next, I sold this pair of Magnani Men's Leather Oxford Wingtip Shoes. I bought these at a garage sale. And I got to tell you, these were kind of hidden. These were in a box. They were not displayed. I started snooping around, digging around. I found this pair and three other very similar pairs. I paid $10 for each pair of shoes. I sold this one for $59.99. They were a really cool looking pair of shoes. And uh, made in Spain, Magnani. If you see that brand, pick it up because as you can see, they do sell. Next, I bought this Peterborough Canoe Strip Plank All Wood Model Kit. Got this at a garage sale for a very low price. It sold for my full asking price of $69.99. You know, while everybody's home looking for stuff to do, they're doing stuff like building puzzles and doing stuff like this. This is a very complex kit. It has many, many pieces. It will take somebody quite a long time to do this. And, uh, they bought it for $69.99. If you're finding this video informative, please click the subscribe button right down there in the corner. I'd appreciate it. Next, this Star Wars Lego. Uh, this is Bounty Hunter Speeder Bike Battle Pack. I'm not sure what that's all about, but it is Star Wars. It is new in the box. I bought this at a garage sale. I paid $5 for it. The lady had about, I don't know, 20 Star Wars uh, items like this. I almost bought them all, but she really wanted a little bit more than I was willing to pay. She wanted $110. I offered her $70. She didn't take it. So this is the only one I bought. I bought it for $5. It sold for $24.99. It's Legos and it's Star Wars. So it kind of caters to two different uh, groups of people there. You know, people who love Star Wars and people who love Legos. Then I sold this Cox Cable Contour Remote. Again, I bought a bunch of these from a guy who was in the cable business at one time. This is about the seventh or eighth one of these remotes that I have sold, and they're doing really well. Next, I sold this Duterra Essential Oil. I bought this at an estate sale on the very last day. Everything was 75% off. I bought 25 of these for $100. This one sold for $16.99. This is about the fifth one of these I have sold, and this is one of the cheaper ones, but it did sell. 
Next, this Eagles Tour Concert from 2013. Got this, I believe, at Goodwill. It was $5. Again, another Goodwill item where I paid $5 for it, and I only got $15 for it. I didn't make much of a profit, and that's why I'm getting rid of all of my clothing inventory. I'm just getting rid of it because it takes a long time to sell, and the profit that I make is not the profit I am looking for. But... Concert t-shirts do sell, especially hair bands from the 1980s. If you can find those, they're worth like, you know, upwards of $100. So keep an eye out for those. Next, I sold this book. This is God Emperor of Dune. I bought this at an estate sale. I bought 18 Dune books. Um, six of them were actually written by Frank A. Bear, who was the original writer after he passed away his son and another guy started writing dune books i have some of those as well but they're not as valuable this one sold for 19.99 and i just sold another one for 39.99 but dune books do have value this was from 1981 i actually have a couple that are first edition uh one is a is a, a book club edition which is not quite as valuable as a regular first edition book but it is a first edition book so i'll get 39 dollars 99 for that one as well Next, I sold this Comscope Signal Vision Ground Block. Uh, I had it listed for $19.99. I took half price, $10, but I probably have three or 400 of these. These are packs of 50. I got these from the same guy, the same cable guy in that lot that I bought. So, you know, I was happy to get rid of it for $10. Again, there were 50 in this pack. Next, I bought this, I sold this Hendrix uh, Gin Rubber Service Mat. I bought this on a 100 mile garage sale. If you'd like to check out that video, simply click the link above, it'll take you right to it. But I bought probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 of these, very similar, again, bought in bulk, had it listed for $24.99 and took a best offer of $16.50. And uh, they're selling. This is probably the 10th one of these I have sold. Then I saw this yearbook. This is a yearbook from USL, the University of Southwestern Louisiana. I was at a garage sale. A lady had about 10 of these, and she just gave them to me. You know, I said, well, I'll give it a shot and see what happens. I sold this one for $35.95. I had it listed for $39.94. Took a best offer. I think this is a third or fourth one of these that I have sold. And again, I got it for free. It took quite a while to sell. It's been on eBay for more than a year, but it did sell. Then I saw this Royal and Lay Nickel Engraving Art Kit of a Leopard. Bought these at an estate sale. Probably bought about 30 or 40 of these. And this one sold for $9.99. Then I saw these Budweiser Beer Bottle Caps. I had never bought or sold these before, but probably... Uh, let's see, I probably bought about 3,000 bottle caps, and I kind of broke them up into different groups, and I sold these for $8. I know that's not a lot of money, but I paid $5 for the whole lot, and I sold another lot already, so I've more than made my money back. So who would have thought that people bought beer caps? They do. I'm not sure what they use them for, but keep an eye out if you ever come across two or 3,000 you know, beer bottle caps, and you can find them at a very cheap price. Buy them and give them a shot like I did. Next, I sold this Victoria's Secret bra. I used to buy these quite often. I've kind of backed off from it now because they take a long time to sell, but generally I pick them up for 25 cents, 50 cents, maybe a dollar, you know, 25 cents if I can buy them in a lot. This one sold for $12.98. The only ones I've ever tried to sell are Victoria's Secret, and I have sold them probably 30 or 40 bras and made some money off of them, but I think I'm going to get away from this as well because it's kind of like clothing. It takes a long time to sell. Then I sold this uh, lot of Red Heart Boutique Ruffle Yarn. I probably bought about 40 of these uh, in bulk at a garage sale. I had them listed for $19.99. I took a best offer of $14 because I've sold a number of these already and had already made my money back. So I'm uh, just happy to get rid of these. Now, I'm going to show you some DVDs uh, that I sold, and I've sold many more than this in the last few days, probably 10 or 12, but I just wanted to show you some uh, that are kind of what you need to look out for because these did sell for more than uh, $10. This is Medea. Uh, this uh, Tyler Perry has made a lot of Medea movies. I happened to come across these. I bought 1,200 videos, and uh, these were in that lot, so I grouped them together in a lot of six, and I took $15.99 for them. I was okay with that. I have another large group of Medea or Tyler Perry movies, and I think I have those listed for 20 bucks. I'm sure those will sell as well. 
And finally, here's another one. This is Titanic. It's a Blu-ray DVD movie. It sold for $12.99. And the reason I'm showing you this is because it was a special limited edition. It is a Blu-ray disc. I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a limited uh, 3D edition. So again, keep an eye out for unusual DVDs, maybe movies you have never heard of before. They sell better than the common stuff. A regular Titanic DVD will not sell as far as this much because this was special. It was a Blu-ray disc. It sold for $12.99. So that's what I've got for you today. I hope you learned something from watching this video. I hope you saw something that you may not have thought about buying and now you will look out for it. I hope this video was informative. If so, please take the time to hit the subscribe button right down there in the corner. And this is a refined reseller saying, do like me, buy low, sell high. Again, if you like this video, please subscribe. Good sourcing, good selling, and I will see you next time.